Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about the types of crowdsourcing. That means this is a, a second half of the mobile BI. We will discuss about a few points about these types of crowdsourcing. See, here we are having the crowd voting. Uh, this is uh, one type of uh, voting process where from a group of crowd or uh, from a group of people, we will try to identify what are the voices of the people and crowd purchasing crowd purchasing means if you are going to keep any sort of deals or discounts and offers means how the customers are able to purchase the products huh? and uh, wisdom of crowds it is about uh, how they are going to use their intelligence huh? uh, and uh, how we are going to analyze the products uh, how we will analyze usually from a group of people a uh, few people will be there uh, giving some positive comments from Few, few means uh, uh, from a group of people, if more people are giving the positive comments, means I can take the responses as the positive and accordingly, the based upon the positive response, uh, yeah, we will try to improve that um, product uh, things uh, like colors or any other designs if you want to improve. So like that also we can improve based upon the wisdom, that means based upon the knowledge of the crowds. And next one is the crowd funding. Crowd funding means... Uh, uh, suppose if you want to um, invest anything uh, uh, with the help of some group of people like uh, if you want to keep some 100 rupees uh, for any item purchasing or uh, 200 rupees or 500 rupees uh, that means how the people are able to give some uh, uh, funds uh, to a company or a uh, while doing the registration you can keep some amount whether they are able to give some funds or not so like that uh, types of uh, crowdsourcing it is completely based upon crowd voting crowd purchasing wisdom of crowds and crowdfunding and a few examples they have given like uh, 99designs.com and uh, agentanything.com and uh, 33needs.com so this is about the types of crowdsourcing and uh, next topic is inter and uh, trans firewall analytics inter and uh, trans firewall analytics like uh, uh, supply chains have evolved to connect the multiple companies and uh, enable them to collaborate to create an uh, uh, enormous uh, value to the end customer here. Uh, enormous value to the end customer. Supply chains. And supply chains means uh, those who are uh, uh, having a very good business organization, they will be having the supply chain. Like uh, they will be having some uh, connectivity through the discoverers or uh, uh, those who are going to manufacture the products uh, or customers or manufacturers or developers or uh, middleware people that entire connection will be there for any product that is called a supply chain how we are going to maintain that connectivity from the multiple companies and how we are able to elaborate collaborate with all those people sir, to the uh, to get some value to the end customers here so enterprises are beginning to collaborate on uh, insights across the value chain and uh, example we can take it like the healthcare industry is one of the very good example here and uh, not necessarily limited to the companies within the traditional demand supply chain value here and um, a retailer on the social media company coming together uh, uh, to share the insights on the customer behavior that will benefit the both so if you are a retailer and if you are going to use the social media market for the digital marketing purpose and you can share the insights of uh, customer behavior so that what will happen you are, you are going to win in that business and as soon as the customers will win and obviously the products also will be having a lot of good uh, positive comments and some companies are working uh, on the large volumes of the data outside the firewall such as uh, social media data location data and uh, and so on so most of the people will be there they use it to work on the large amount of data outside the firewalls means outside the business enterprises also they use it to work on the large volumes of the data such as the social media data location data so a lot of data will be there so that is called as a next one is the inter and the trans uh, firewall analytics and that is uh, how the trends are moving from the intra to inter and uh, trans firewall analytics See, what is meant by intra means? Intra means within the organization, how your company is uh, trying to improve here. Inter means outside the company. Inside, inter means uh, outside the company. And uh, trans firewall means between the companies. Between the companies, how the trends are moving around the 
products or with the within the business companies so yesterday functional silo based isolated within the company analytics and today intra firewall analytics uh, with the data within the firewall what is meant by firewall first of all firewall will helps us in uh, protecting our data from the dangerous and uh, uh from the dangerous unprotected viruses trojan horses or wasps whatever it may be so it is going to protect your companies in entering into your organization it is called as intra firewall analytics with data within the firewalls intra means always within within the firewalls and tomorrow collaborating on insights with the other companies to do inter firewall analytics so leveraging the public domain spaces to do the trans firewall analytics <coughs> why we have to go for this trans firewall analytics means i want to know that what is the public domain spaces and what is the voices of the people and all so in such cases we have to go for all these things sir. then uh, inter and the trans firewall analytics means uh, uh, see here uh, they give like uh, uh, intra firewalls uh, and uh, here we are having the intra firewalls and the intra firewalls here only but the uh, intra firewalls is there that means it is going to show the collaboration with all the companies here so a lot of collaborations are there why because this is the inter firewalls and uh, this one is within the organization only so it is the all the intra firewalls and here if you see this is about uh, the trans firewall uh, where uh, see how the communication is there between the social media data location data real retail spend data and the web trends uh, data all these things so organization will need to complement uh, just the intra firewall sites uh, to enter in the trans firewall analytics and uh, they gave one example for the value chain uh, for the inter firewall and the trans firewall analytics uh, like if you take this inter firewall uh, uh, it we it is going to enable the significant breakthroughs uh, based on the synergies in the insights uh, and we are having the value chain so this value chain it is completely based upon uh, the health insurance uh, pharmacy drug maker that means all these three persons are able to communicate with each other that is uh, in the form of a chain connection so that's why it is called as the value chain and the healthcare insights how does the customer value his options here so that is uh, the, uh, that is called as the value chain and outside the value chain means uh, how that means uh, if you come deviated from that healthcare sector uh, they may go for the search engines or retailers or uh, many other things outside the organization also they are able to search your products uh. so behavioral insights and code outcomes uh, how the customers are behaving about your products uh, and the customer choose what they finally bought so next one is the trans firewall trans firewall means uh, internal data is no longer <coughs> A strong differentiator or a game changer here the large volumes of the data will be there which is going to lie outside the firewalls also so new data explains previously unsolvable problems what are those previously unsolvable problems means to see here consumer social interaction that is a social feed data that is social feed data means outside the firewalls plus click stream data within the firewalls click stream data means within the firewall how many number of clicks we are going to get here and customer private elasticity how the price tests for the data can be done within the firewalls within the firewall i am going to test the prices see i will keep some products uh, for 50 rupees i will keep some products for 99 i will keep some products for uh, 199 299 399 i am going to test the um, price related things uh, within the firewalls first then i will go for outside the firewalls and between the companies also so what is the competitive price, prices will be there outside the data and what is the sensitivity to price changes in the presence of the competitor pricing so what happens if we are changing the prices whether we are going to get the good profits or uh, not getting any profits and all uh, so all these things has to be analyzed uh, within the organization outside the organization and between the companies also we have to analyze it and then uh, what are the challenges that which we are facing means as the one moves outside the firewall uh, the inter noise ratio will be increases here so this will gives rise to the additional requirements on the analytical methods and the technology so the fear of collaboration due to the competitive fear uh, data privacy concerns and uh, proprietary orientations that limit the opportunities for the cross organizational learning and the innovations so 
low noise ratio means always uh, if you are getting any sort of data means you will be having lot of uh, uh, we have to do lot of pre-processing again otherwise uh, we are not uh, going to get the uh, cleaned data here so though the transition to an inter and trans firewall analytics is not easy uh, it will become soon a key weapon which can be available for all the decision scientists so that's all for today guys that is about the mobile bi and uh, inter and uh, intra trans firewall analytics and uh, few points i have explained you about the crowdsource analytics also so hope you like this video thank you guys thank you for watching